Sometimes we just don't have that friend nearby that can tell us what a sign like this might mean in a photo or a video. And it's not just about translating languages. What if we wanted to know who this person is on the right in this image? Or be able to type this text that you can see in the back of this conference hall and, and run a Google search on it? Well, thankfully there's a fix and it's all available within a few clicks of your mouse. So sit tight and get ready as we look at how you can extract text from an image to use it for searches, translations, and furthering your research. Hi everyone, and welcome back to this series on how to do open source investigations from home. I'm Ben, and this is part 12, so let's get started. To start this session off, let's say we have this photo of someone holding up this sign at a protest. Now we could ask a friend what it means, sure, and I'd always recommend you get a second opinion on translations rather than using machines for translations because, well, as we know, machines aren't always right. But I've got an English keyboard in front of me and I can't really type out what that sign says if I wanted to search for it in Google. So for a sign like this, maybe I can use something like Google Translate's draw function and start to really write out some of these characters. But we could actually do this a little bit easier. And there's something that's really quite handy that exists called OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. It allows the text to be pulled out of an image so that we can either use that in translations or we can use that to run a search in Google or another search engine platform as well. One of my favorite apps to do this is Yandex. And this is really helpful if you're doing this from an image reverse search perspective. So say you wanted to reverse that search that image that you found in an article and you wanna get a translation out of that or pull that text out of it. All we need to do is right click or upload that using this icon that you see in the middle there. And already you can see on the right of this image that we have the text that's been pulled out of that image. I can easily just click on that translate function and that'll bring that up in translate. And what we've got is one for all and all for one, which is what that banner says on that image right there. So what about other uses for this? Because perhaps this might be simple for some people, perhaps it might be written in an article already or wherever the context is of the image that's been used. So for example, what if we wanted to identify this person on the right? Well, we've got a little name written there, don't we? So if I was to right click on this and I was to run an image reverse search on this in Yandex, perhaps we can click on recognize text. Now there's a couple of bits of text that we can see in there. It seems like this one has picked this up and it's always nice to just double check to make sure that we've got that. Uh, it's picked up Getty Images as well and it's also picked up that name. We could use the Google Translate function on that, but what we can also do, which is really useful about pulling that text out of the image, is that we can just copy that text and run it in a search engine. And what I'm doing now is I'm running a Google search for the text that we've just pulled out of that image off that nameplate right there, which is the original spelling of that person's name. And we can see that that's the Vice President of the People's Republic of China. Cool, so what about another example? Well, how about we look at what this actual phrase says on the back of this image here uh, from a conference hall in North Korea? Well, again, we can take it through the same process. I always like to try and get the biggest and most clear image possible to reverse search that or to run that through any platform that you might have your hands on and simply run that through Yandex as well. If you don't have any plugins that allow you to right click and go to Yandex, you can simply save the image and just upload as an image reverse search into Yandex. So you can see that that's pulled out that text for us. And already we can just select that. And with my Google Translate plugin, we can see what that might say. Now, I always like to just double check with all these characters as well, because sometimes this might just be off or it might be a little bit inaccurate. Also, sometimes the 
uh, translation function on Google isn't really that great for so many different languages. But one thing we can do is just run a simple search on that text as well and see perhaps if that comes up with any different results. Yes, we've got a few different results, which is quite interesting. So you're probably thinking, okay, this seems pretty easy for small bits of text, but it's also for big bits of text as well. And it's not just on Yandex. There's lots of OCR bits of software out there and platforms. I'd recommend you vet each one of them before you start uploading any private documents or private images that are not on the internet. Uh, but however, here's one uh, called i2OCR. I really like using this one because you have two different options. So you can do image OCR or you can do PDF OCR. Um, the reason why PDF OCR on this one is quite good in comparison to uh, platforms like Google is because this one offers very different languages. So for example, we could run a PDF in Burmese and we could get that loosely translated. Again, I recommend you get someone that speaks Burmese or can read Burmese to actually confirm any translations before you rely on them in any publications or anything like that. So in testing out how this platform actually operates, let's try an example such as this, which is a post from December 25 from the Sudan Doctors Committee. Now, often you'll see uh, perhaps Facebook posts, or you might not know that it's from Facebook, but it might be posted as a screenshot on Twitter. And because it's not raw text, but rather a screenshot of the post, you might not know or might not be able to easily translate this um, into Google or something like that. So a really easy method to do that is just to take that screenshot and really run that through one of these OCR platforms. So we'll do that now. Um, I've selected my input language and I can select the file here. We definitely want to make sure that we are not a robot. Um, so sometimes it's always fun to do a little bit of spot the tractors and we'll extract the text. So what we have here is uh, the raw text on the left that I can select and pop into a translate function or something like that. On the right, we can see how that has been picked up uh, from that image that we originally uploaded, that screenshot image. So the i2 OCR site is quite useful because we can just take that text and we can run that in either Bing or Google and actually translate that text. So you can see that it's quite useful to translate lots of text, but of course this is clearly written text that you can see from that screenshot there. If for example, you were to have a street sign or a sign of a shop that you can see in a video, but isn't really easily replicable for something like Yandex or something like this, where we can, where we're not able to pull out that text, I'd recommend going back to the draw function and just having a little go at drawing that text in there, whether it's Arabic or whether it's Cyrillic or some other form of alphabet that you just can't clearly get that OCR working on. So there we have it. I hope you found this session on extracting text from images helpful and useful. If this type of technique has helped you in your research or does help you, please do let me know in the comment section below. I also just wanted to say a big thank you for all of the comments, likes and subscribes to this channel, especially the messages from journalists, researchers and investigators in developing countries who are learning this content and using it to hold those responsible to account. I'm so glad I can be of such help to you all. I'll see you in the next session soon. Until then, take it easy.